So you would like to know the basic principles of choosing a grout colour when making mosaics. Well, you're in the right place. I'm Helen Miles and I'm here to teach you all the tips and tricks you need to make mosaics. For this video, we're going to be looking at the basic principles of choosing a grout colour when you're making mosaics. And in this video, we're focusing on direct method mosaics, which is um, that you're using purpose made uh, flat tiles, which are sticking onto a flat surface. Um, I believe that um, the whole kind of principle of choosing colors is quite different when you're using thin set and applying different materials like stone and pebble into the thin set. So here we're just talking about direct method mosaics. I've prepared these two boards. Um, well, actually there are six boards, uh, but for the, for the beginning here, we're just looking at the two. And they, this one, the one on the right, has ceramic, Winkelmann's um, ceramic, and vitreous glass. And this one is purely glass. So the one on the left is much brighter and these are much more subdued, muted colours. And I want to start by looking at the difference that a different grout colour makes um, when you're um, finishing your mosaic. So let's start just with the ceramic, well, the ceramic and glass, the muted ones first. So this is um, grouted in a dark colour. This is grouted in a medium, a mid-grey, and this is grouted in a white. So we can just about get all three of them under the camera. And as you can see, they are entirely different. So each of the tiles, each of these um, little uh, plaques are exactly the same. But once they're grouted in, in different colours, they look quite different. So you can see with the white one, it's really fragmented the, the individual uh, tiles. So each of the tiles sort of stands separately. They're not integrated. Uh, with the dark one, it's really subdued the colours. The colours were already muted but it's drawn them in and, and made them even darker. And with this um, mid-grey one, you can see it allows the colours to be themselves. Um, so it's neither, it's neither kind of contracting the colours, bringing them in, or fracturing them the way the white is. If we look at the glass, we can see the same thing. So these are much brighter colours to start off with. Um, so they're exactly the same boards. This is the dark. This is the mid gray. And this is the white. And if I put them all together, white, mid gray and dark, you can see how entirely different they look. It's almost, um, hard to believe in a way that the colours are the same. So again, the white fractures um, the, dif the different colours. Each colour remains on its own as a separate entity. The mid grey allows them to speak. Um, it doesn't either demand attention or distract. The, the mid grey allows the tiles to do their own thing. And again, the dark kind of darkens and brings down the level of the brightness. So that might be something you want. When it comes to choosing grout colours for direct method mosaics like this, I always recommend a mid-grey. I know it's slightly boring, um, but it is predictable and it is reliable. And it's quite difficult to undo a problem if you've, if you've grouted something and you don't like it. Um, you're, you run into a few difficulties. Primarily, um, if you grout it dark, it's almost impossible to then lighten it. If it's light, if it's too light, if you've used a white or whitish grout and you feel it's too fractured and it's not what you want, you could get a steel brush and rub it hard 
um, between the grout lines and then re-grout it with a, with a darker colour. So it's possible to go from light to dark, but much, much harder, virtually semi-impossible to go to, from dark to light. And in terms of, of choosing the mid-grey, if you go along to your tile supplier and ask for a mid-grey, they'll get out a colour chart um, and it depends on the brand. Uh, they have different names. This one is by Bal and it's called Bal Max Flex and it's called Mid Grey. Um, however, um, I use another one also, I can't remember the brand, but it's called Cement. But when, when you look at the little samples that they'll have at the tile shop, you can, you can see the one which is neither too dark or too light, needless to say. A quick recap, just so you can see those colours again, because I think it's really useful to compare identical um, tiles grouted in different ways. So mid-grey, dark, light, or white. Mid-grey, dark, and white. If you found this uh, video useful and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe below.